everybody. Sorry, I didn't realise that was what was showing just then. Hello and welcome. Nice to see you all. So I'm, this is kind of like part two of yesterday's video. So yesterday I did a bit of experimenting with inking up paper with coloured inks and then stamping with white on top of that and then stamping more colour. Some of the experiment kind of works, some of it I felt didn't perhaps work as well as I wanted it to. However, it led to some really interesting discussion about what else we could do. Sorry, I've got my hat on. It's just cold here in Wales and um, it's cold. Well, it's not super cold in my studio anymore, because. Um, but anyway, I don't know. It's comforting now. I've got it on. So um, thank you for joining me. So let's. Um, Darlene had to go and get her charges. Mindy, it's Thursday. <laughs> just reminding you. I'm colourful as well, I know. Martina, did you see? I finished my crochet. Did I tell you this already? I think I already told you. Okay, right. Look at this. Look at this lovely colour here. So the first thing that we were going to do was do some colour blocking onto some cardstock. And then, um, what have I got? Oh, what if I could do it on there? Hmm. What have I got here? What have I got? What have I got? Um, I'll just grab a piece of very vanilla. Sorry, bear with I'm just trying to find the right card. Oh, please, come on. It's Friday to Vicky, I know. <laughs> Right, I'm actually going to, so I'm using a piece of our standard A4 and I'm just kind of cut, going to cut it into quarters and then afterwards maybe cut it down a little bit more so, so I can get an actual matting layer. But um, I'm going to do it this way because I'm going to stick, oh no, I need my trimmer back. I'll give myself a little bit more room here. Um, I'm going to be sticking on sections onto my card base here. So actually, probably the easiest way to do this is to cut a similar size piece of paper or card. Is that the same size as that one? Roughly? Yeah, roughly. That'll do. Then I'm going to cut... similar size piece there. Another size piece there. So welcome if you're new to my channel. Um, do please go and do a bit of digging around amongst my other videos. There are plenty there. cut that all in one go. I don't know if that's a good idea, but definitely cut through. Cut through three. There we go. I don't think it was that happy cutting through four layers, so I'll do this one separately. Move that one over. Hi, Jude. Okay, right. So normally I'd go, oh, let's just make one. And I did say let's just make one, but I've cut enough to make four. Yeah, this one's definitely running out a bit. Let's open a new one. I'm sitting at the Art Deco Gallery on a sunny day in Ranfurly, New Zealand. Ooh, an Art Deco Gallery. So was are you saying it's Art Deco because the building's Art Deco? Um tell me more
So I'm sticking these pieces of cardstock on quite carefully to make sure that there's almost there's no seam breaks between the card there. That's a piece. There we go. Oh no, that one's on top. All right, there we go. So you've got to be very careful that they're not overlapping each other, that they're, they're all completely flush with each other. All right. So I might just do one more here. Okay, right. Let's check that this is all flush. Just get my bone folder out just to give it a bit of extra. Oh, hello oh hello glenna oh what's happened to my screen That's a bit weird. Bear with, sorry, I don't know what's happened to my... I'm back, there we go. <laughs> I'm back. Sorry about that, I don't know what happened there. Right, so I was just burnishing this with my bone folder managed to get something on there and so now what I'm going to do is cut this down to the size I actually want so I think it's not too bad across there but I'm just going to give that a little smidgen of a cut um, Can hear me. Yeah, I think it was like my my phone switched off. My um, so my f my phone is doing the this bit. So um, it was like I must have done something. I don't know. I'm back again. I noticed in time. So that's good. Right, give that a little trim. There we go. I'm just 
going to get rid of all these smaller pieces because that is just going to clutter up my desk. I don't need more clutter in my life. Right, there we go. I'm just going to grab the stamp set that I wanted to use. two-tone flora and so I'm going to do two different versions I'm going to stamp with white on both of them to start off with but then on one of them I'm going to stamp early espresso and then on the other I'm then going to do some stamping with uh, Versamark and then white embossing powder just to see the difference okay so this is going to be fun we'll see how, see how this turns out Hi Sherry, hi Dagmar, hi Lane, hi Darlene, hi Shaz, hi Valerie, I hate, hi all, I hate it when work gets in the way of these videos, <laughs> yeah, oh forgot to put a mat under there. Okay. Huh, that's very similar to that one, but I've swapped them there. Oh no, let's do that one the other way around. Oh, thank you, Glenna. That's very sweet of you. Yeah, thank you everybody that has sent me PayPal. Uh, some of you are very, very kind and do a monthly PayPal for me. It is always very appreciated. And um, I am catching up with my videos. I've got, I think, a November video, thank you video to go out. And I hopefully will be catching up with all the others soon. Um, and also those of you who just, you know, randomly PayPal me um, so that I can buy more products for me to share with you. And... Yeah, and then there are other folks who then do super chat and all that kind of lovely stuff on YouTube. So thank you if you've done that recently. It's always very appreciated. Because I know that not all of you can purchase products directly from me because you don't live in the UK or you are already a demonstrator. So then you don't need me. As your, up, uh, as your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. But if you are new to stamping and wanting some, perhaps a little bit of advice of what to purchase first or um, where to get started or how to get the most out of your products, then please do contact me, ruthtrice at gmail.com. That is my job. That is what I'm here to do, to help you be a better stamper, to be inspired and so on. And um, let's go with the give these. That will fit into that. But yes, thank you, thank you for that reminder, Martina. Um, yeah. So if you, you know, it watching me it does not require you to give me anything apart from a little bit of thumbs up love. If you would be so kind. And also maybe share this video with someone who you think may, may enjoy it. So. Hi, Miss Beverly. Nice to see you. How are your children doing, Miss Beverly? All right, I quite like that. I may bring in some other leaves from other stamp sets in a second because I just want to perhaps do a bit more. But 
Um, oh, I'll tell you what I can do. I can do these little flowers. These are super cute. I just feel like I needed something smaller in here somewhere. And it's very tempting to do like second generation with this white ink, but I'm not going to do it because I want I want to be able to see what I've stamped. Everybody thumbs up. Um, so my in-laws rang us today to tell us that uh, Tom's nephew has uh, secured some funding for his MPhil. And uh, it's to study the gases of Uranus. Make of that what you will. Oh, that's good to hear, Beverly. How long does it take for the white ink to dry? Too long, Elaine, too long. That's why I'm getting my heat tool out. So, because it is a pigment ink, it does take longer to dry, it's sticky. Thanks, Joanna. I was just waiting for someone. No, the, th the funny thing is, it's actually true. So he's going to be studying gases in space, but, um, the way that my mother-in-law pronounced it was just so hilarious. And Tom tried to correct her and say it was Uranus. And she went, no, I've always pronounced it Uranus. So there we go. No, seriously, he's, um, he's a very clever boy. Both Tom's nephews are very clever. But... Uh, the joke wasn't lost on me. Right, so we have got a little bit of raising here, but it's partly because I'm heating paper. And you know when you heat paper, it likes to curl. So... Yeah, so the other nephew, he's doing a PhD as well. He's very clever. He's doing, um, well, he also does statistical kind of analysis on those shirts. You know, the footballers nowadays, they wear soccer players for the, the Americans. Um, they wear these kind of electronic device shirts that track them and track their play, game play and he's been helping Oxford City Football Club improve their game by analysing data oh there we go and apparently it's improved the team's overall performance so that's brilliant <laughs> I, I, I don't know Pamela I don't know. I, I don't know if they're funding a mission there or something. <laughs> Never follow the same thing. I thought you guys would find that funny and run away with it. Anyway, sorry if you're not into toilet humour. I'm, I'm ter our family are terrible toilet humour. I think when you have a fam, your parents are both nurses. Um, it it kind of. Uh, What's the word? Um, what's the word I want? It it oh, what's the word? It 
desensitizes you. <laughs> Um, that's it bring the heather quite right heather Let, let's talk about the crafting now come on so heather says uh this reminds me of when i try stamping with bleach yours definitely looks better and loving this technique there we go exactly darlene exactly no my my, my dad has the most amazing uh, stories of nursing right so the tip was heidi suggested this to, to pounce the powder onto your white ink to make sure it's completely dry I don't know why I've done both it was mainly only one of them I needed to do it with but anyway I'll give that a little bit longer to dry so now I need to get the early espresso ink actually I'm wondering whether to do the verse and mark bit first because then I wouldn't have to clean clean it off. <laughs> if the ink's not dry, won't it smear or transfer ink else ink elsewhere with the embossing buddy? Yeah, probably Vicky. But I did just give it a quick dry as well, so Oh no, what have I started? Oh dear. Right, if anyone is particularly um, sensitive, you need to look away from the chat now. I've warned you. Cindy's around. And various other nurses. Right, where's my white embossing powder? Oh no, that's clear. Um... Well, I know I know who to send him to if he if actually the <laughs> if this research was what we thought it was. <laughs> I'll say, look, I've got loads of test subjects. <laughs> Maybe the research will will pay for you all to fly to Oxford, and we could all meet up there. <laughs> That's funny, Elaine. Now, is it that way or is it that way? Oh, I think it's that way. Right, so I've got to get this up. Let me see what I'm doing here. Well, no, I missed. Ah, oh, dear, all that faffing. This is not perfect. I'm not really lining these up very well. Oh, that's not too bad. Right, this big one. Annie. Ooh. Who paid for that study? No, I'm joking. That's interesting to know. Right, I don't mind using, look, can you see my Versamark, the state it's in? But I don't mind using it because I know I'm going to be embossing with white ink, so you're not even going to see the dirt. Right.
as I was doing this, I thought, oh, they're gonna, it's going to fall between the cracks, but it hasn't. It looks gorgeous already, although that is completely out of place. That one. Don't know whether to restamp that one. going to try. It might not work, but I'm going to try. I don't recommend you do this, but anyway, we'll see if it works. Oh well, there we go. It's almost like I've got a double amount. So I'm going to have to lift you up while I do this. I know, I like it already too. I was thinking the same thing, Martina. You guys are going to want to see close up, aren't you? Are you ready? Are you ready? That's funny, Joanna. Love a bit of black adder. Three spikes. <laughs> uh, if you know it, you know it. One of my children, who shall remain nameless, has such control that he'll do it by either in time to music. I blame the father. Right, so apart from my boo-boo there, I think that's a rather successful technique. 
And I'm wondering, now someone did say yesterday whether or not you could emboss first and then stamp. So I think I am going to try that in a minute after I've done the other technique. It does look lovely, doesn't it? This needs a bit of a clean up of the powder. Right, so now this one... I was going to do with the brown. My son always does <laughs> and then leaves the room. <laughs> oh, no, I, I have to warn my family. I just go, oh, I'm so sorry. Hi, Jane. <laughs> oh, glad I made you laugh. Oh, my goodness. I don't think I've done one so close ever before. <laughs> right. Come on, Ruth, you can replicate it. Oh, nearly. Not quite. Oh, no, totally not right. Not too bad. Trick is don't overthink it, just go for it. There we go. Right, so there we go. So we've got two kind of different looks from that one. So I have got enough card, I think, to... Do another one. Oh, I think I might just drop. Nina. <laughs> Thanks, Martina, for that compliment. You know what, I'm just going to trim these off first.
Oh no, if I do that that way first. Right. This one's going to be a bit smaller. Right, so with this one, what I'm going to do is, I need I just need to clean these off though, is I'm going to stamp with the embossing, sorry, the Versamark first, then I'm going to stamp the white ink on the top just to see if having the image already down makes life a little bit easier, which I'm sure it will. Um, and then stamp the white ink over the top so we're just going to experiment with that and see if that's a bit easier for you or for me <laughs> if it's easier for me it definitely be easier for you so. it's delightful to linda got gorgeous glenna jovial jane Artful Annie, Marvellous Martina, who else could we have? Hadn't thought of colour blocking with cardstock. Cheery Sherry, I was trying to think of something that, rhymed with it, that I could go sh sh Sherry, sh cheer, sh 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 no. I'll stick with cheery right so first mark first ding bat darling Okay, so when you do this technique, try not to overlap where you're stamping the Versa mark because you'll use, lose kind of the definition a bit. You know what I forgot to do is just to rub. I think what this video I hope goes to show if you've watched it all the way through is that when you get an idea for something sometimes the first time you try it out it's not always the best but that's okay and it's worth experimenting with the tools that you're given or the tools that you have to find the best way to, to do what you want to do so you know I hope this encourages you because I've been stamping for over 12 years now and I'm still learning techniques and experimenting and it's taken me what 40 minutes to kind of really you know to do three different techniques to figure out perhaps I don't I mean this might not be the best way of doing it but um you know we'll see
You have two to three boxes of first time trials. Oh. Well, the other thing to remember is that when you're gifting a card to somebody, they don't know it was your first time trial. And I don't think unless you are giving the card to another card, a fellow card maker who's who knows what you've been up to, you know, they wouldn't know either. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. <laughs> Fair enough, darling. <laughs> oh, I said don't overlap your stamping. Also, don't don't overlap the card when you're stamp it, when you're sticking it down. You see that that's wanting to lift off a little bit, but that's all right. We'll fix it later. Because card likes to curl up when it gets heated, and you know it's coming away from the card base, but that's all right. I can go over it and stick it all back down in a minute. So the process for heat embossing is you stamp with Versamark, put the powder on, then you have to heat it to set it. There's a technique left, rubbing soft, very soft wax on the stamps. Let it sink in and then cut it, in, cut it to your heart's desire. Ah. Oh, thank you, Kay. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there. All right, so back with the white ink. I should have used my mat. Georgiana oh sweetie yeah Vicky said that she she got a ping but didn't get the link I'm sorry you'll have to scroll back the chat for the really naughty conversation Definitely makes lining up easier. So let me just read what Martina said. There is a technique left, rubbing soft, very soft wax. So when you say soft wax, what? where would you get that from, Martina? From a crayon or like a pan pastel type thing or... It 
similar to the tie dye, it lets little bits of colour into the waxed area. Yeah. Oh, really, Glenna? Let me have a look and see if I if it's gone through. Yeah, the last one you got was yesterday. If I just I'll just message you and see if it comes through. Yeah, I've just messaged you, Glenn, and it hasn't come through. Don't know if it's worth um, uninstalling and installing your WhatsApp. reading the chat. You guys are hilarious. I know this is not this is not a Shrek situation. Oh, Glenn's got it now. Oh. I have tried to, with the WhatsApp notification, I try and send a message, then the link, because I'm not sure that WhatsApp quite likes it. I mean, would it be make sense if I just literally sent a message rather than sending a link? Because I don't think any of you watch it via WhatsApp anyway. You, you'd go to my YouTube channel and find me. I don't think I'm doing this correctly. But... No, don't be afraid to do it just delete it and we yeah because you when you upload it you have to re-register your mobile number yeah you'll be fine i've done it numerous times no you won't lose oh you'll lose oh make sure you've backed it up first glenna i mean all that you won't lose any photos because your photos will be on your phone but you might lose messages but unless you if you back it up you won't Right, so, guys, let me know which one do you think looks better? I can tell you this one was easier. Now, this one looks slightly better because I didn't have to do all the pouncing with the embossing buddy. I mean, this one you'll have to leave to dry. But this one's got, can you see the residue there? around there but I haven't got any here because I haven't had to do it so obviously this one's stamped a bit better that one I made a bit of a boo-boo oh let's do the little white bits now so now we've done all that yeah I have 
WhatsApp on my PC as well. That's why I can message people while I'm using my phone. <laughs> yeah, it's good good on your laptop, Mart uh, Glenna. This is like little floral dotage, isn't it? Uh, now, we had this discussion earlier, uh, 19th. So there we go. Fun bit of colour blocking and then experimenting with the white ink. To figure out its best usage with white embossing powder and early espresso ink. So we use the white ink pad, pigment ink from Stampin' Up, the early espresso ink pad also from Stampin' Up, funny that isn't it? Uh, Versamark also available, actually available in various stores but we sell it, Versa Stampin' Up sells it. And then the Two Tone Flora stamp set and then we used Poppy Parade, Gorgeous Grape, Polish Pink, and Orchid Oasis cardstock from Stampin' Up and white embossing powder from Stampin' Up and also the heat tool from Stampin' Up and glue, Tombow glue, also from Stampin' Up. So if you haven't got the hint already, you can go and purchase all the products you've seen me use apart from my little teeny weeny makeup brush that was off Amazon. Um, the you know, embossing buddy Stampin' Up, that is not Stampin' Up, I think I've gifted that. But most of the products you've seen me use tonight, you can purchase in my online store, and the link is in the description. There we go. You can do this, Chaz, when you're feeling better. When you're feeling better. Right, I love number three, got here late, and we'll have to watch it later. Oh, thank you, Cindy, very kind of you. Yeah, Cindy lives in the other Washington. <laughs> I like the last one and the earlier special one. Yes, I think I do too. So this one is where I stamped the white ink first, then did the embossing over the top. Whereas I think it's probably easier to do the white ink heat embossing first, then stamp the white over the top. Now, obviously you don't have to color block. If you do not want to color block, that's absolutely fine. But I really like that contrast of having that really kind of like modern color blocking in the background and then having this really pretty, very more, much more sort of traditional looking graphic, floral graphic over the top of it. It's just nice. I, I love juxtaposing things and kind of like mixing things together. It's like fusion art, basically. So there we go. Um. <laughs> yeah, Sherry. <laughs> You're fun. You got it. Do, do you need me to repeat it? <laughs> Yo, you guys are funny. Oh, dear. Right. This is not the most um, flattering pose for me because the lighting is a bit weird, but there we go. Thank you, Janice. Hello. Oh, we voted it, I thought. US Senate is discussing it now. Oh, so you might not have a time change. That's interesting. I like them all, but the last one has a bit more detail. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does, it does. Right, thank you so much, guys. So, I've, gosh, I've done two videos for, for the last three days. Um, and um, it's really helped my algorithms. <gasps> yes. There's so there's something called stamping up, yeah. 
There's a company stamping up. I believe it started in your country, Cindy. Yeah. You have trouble remembering. <laughs> this was fun. Uh, thank you for all playing along and joining in the, the fun. Um, apologies if you have a little bit of a sensitive stomach and you couldn't take all the uh, all the uh, personal joking. Um, but we don't always talk about stuff like that. But we are a very funny group. And uh, we're just real. Keeping it real. And uh, please come again if you're visiting. It'd be lovely to see you. You go and watch the other one. Has it actually, Ruth? What's that? Just remember when you re when you comment back about something I've said. By the time I see the comment, I've forgotten it because I said it fifteen seconds ago. <laughs> so you have to kind of almost put what you've what you're commenting to in the comment so that I understand what you're referring to. Does that make sense? <laughs> oh, that's not your fault. That's not a criticism. It's just. The way my brain, I've moved on. The algorithms, thank you. Has it helped the algorithms? Um, yeah, my it's boosted my views, certainly. Um, but that's just because, you know, I've been on more. So, um, you just... <laughs> Are you, Cindy? Okay. <laughs> Check out the super fast video we've done. Yeah, I've been experimenting with shorts as well on YouTube. Yeah, so I did do a short, and I thought I uploaded it as a short, but it seems to have come out as just another video, which I don't quite understand. But there we go. Um, there we go. Right, I'm off. You don't need to see my face anymore. Let's get rid of that. Um, oh, I know what. Let's go to the goodbye page there we go so please subscribe if you haven't already and also there'll be other videos here after the live for you to watch and i'm going to catch you guys later um, and if we're stuck in because of snow again i might do a video a bit earlier tomorrow <laughs>